your stand, sir. Yes, sir. Tell me more about it. It's fascinating. Uh, well, so your business is called uh, Classic Racing Spirit. So we do um, gin, vodka. We're about to do a rum, and we do licensed products. So, for example, got. Uh, Burt Monroe, world's fastest Indian. We're doing a gin and sculpture with the sculptor Gregory Percival. Uh, we do racing spirit gin. We do a new one, which is Oddball, which started off as an April Fool's joke. But so many people wanted it that we now do it as a standard item, soon to be in the Tank Museum. Uh, we do Spitfire gin with the Imperial War Museum. We're just about to launch that one which is based on their N3200 Spitfire. And then this is a very special bottle that we did with um, the oldest living triple ace in America. He turned 100 this year and he had hand signed 100 bottles for us of his uh, triple ace gin. There. The Spitfire over there is rather splendid, isn't it? So that is a uh, obviously a model. Um, and it's metal over wood, um, and they sell for around about seven hundred pounds. The Burt Monroe sculpture is bronze, so that's done by Gregory Percival. So that's limited to thirty-five, which was Burt Monroe's racing number, done in conjunction with the Monroe family and John Monroe. And then these. It's the Burt Monroe limited edition gin with a white metal bottle topper with his racing bike on the top. <laughs> Malcolm Campbell, so this is our first gin that we're doing with the Campbell family, Campbell Family Heritage Trust. The gin is blue in colour, obviously to go with Bluebird, and the bottle is based on the letterhead that Sir Malcolm Campbell had when he was selling cars, so it's got the baguette on and everything. And the blue gin turns pink when you add tonic. <laughs> what a great stand. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what a great day for it as well. Wow, well, absolutely perfect. perfect.